kitchen. Hi guys, hi hi. Dude, I'm still in my pajamas, but I kind of feel like a lot of things is going on and I needed to address this once and for all. You're gonna stop, okay? Please stop. So I you take the fun away from me. Yeah. Please stop. I'm gonna go sit at the pool. They're not really making it easy for me. Yeah. yeah. But there's so much sun outside. All right. Um, who's in the pajama lounge upstairs? Like I'm trying to find a place that's not so hectic. Let me it No. All right. So um. Jeez. I'm trying to find a quiet place. This guy's redoing my kitchen. So, so much is going on in my house right now. Ha! Much better. Much better. Okay. All right. Let's get to this. Let's get to the bottom of this, you know? We need to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to start where it started, like, because... It's one thing when a person fails to pay you, and when they fail to pay you, they think like, no, we, and let me tell you something, I'm not always doing lives, you should know something about me, I'm not a live live, live. so Latifa, can I really have this moment? You chased me around. I did chase you because, I see, I'm even running out of the house. So guys, okay. <laughs> All right. I just came to chill with you. Dude. No, I'm not chilling. I'm literally doing some damage control here. Can like I? What? Damage control. Close the door. Can I have a moment? I'm really wasting people's time here. Please. All right. So, guys. No, 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 no. Not, not now. Okay. I needed to put this one down. So, um, a lot of things are going on. There's a lot of um voice notes being leaked there's a lot of a lot of things is, is out there but i'm gonna tell you this a lady personally i know this person from tanzania the days i used to live in tanzania i know this person so at some point she's like i want to do an event in the uk in Jagaloji. I'm, I'm gonna try and mix luganda with this so and she's like Jagaloji uk because i want to do a party a yasoka so, yeah, so I don't know what happened when we submitted visa. Zarwa Okubayo, it literally took forever. I ends up when I submit my passport, like UK visa, where we have an option to to take your passport away during application. I did that because I, I travel a lot. I, I wouldn't have my passport sitting at the embassy for three months. Nesty Genda. She contacts me again, second time around. One, two, three. I think you should come to uh, you should come to we should do a party. And I give her my red card. You want me to come there? You know, the center is in charging her for me to do appearances and all that stuff. Like we can talk, and, and this is this is how much I want to give you. And I'm like, you don't get a quest to look over in South Africa. My work, my kids, get a quest to unveil. To come, to come and, and there, but as soon as Zompa Antono, she's like, ah, you know what, you're my friend, like you're a sister, I've known you for a while. Mugamba, okay, it's fine. Anyway, um, I'll look at the dates, the city busy, and I'll come. So, visas were processed, all right, visas were processed, and because now, guys, let me tell you something, I have my personal person, okay, I have my husband. When Banga Sina, I mean, like, if I need to travel and I'm like, why would I carry my manager or my personal assistant? I've got my husband. I love traveling with my husband. And I'm like, okay, yeah, my husband. And she's like, oh, your husband's visa is going to cost this much. I'm like, hey, Kali, Tewali Tabu, you're going to deduct that from the money that you meant to pay me. You're going to deduct my husband's visa fee. Mind you, I wasn't asking her to do it for free. It's more like you owe me. So you're going to take part of what you owe me and process my husband's visa. We agreed on that. But I'm giving you a story where it all started. I don't want to go into shortcuts and, and all that stuff. So, okay, we agree. She agrees. And then the, the paperwork was done and the visas were, were done. So before leaving South Africa, UK. And this is a person that I know, not a stranger. So I'm like, okay, tuja kogera. 
in the process mngamba okay to get as a as a promoter obviously they are supposed to buy your ticket so she buys my ticket and i'm like kusenta zange zori na simu sawo yonti onyamba you're not helping me onyamba kusenta zange zori na kwata kusente zo or issuing a ticket ya bawange because you issuing mine so like a promoter ya kolechi like an agent who manya uh, uh, I should get ticket then to Jacobara Gana the balance is why you give me. Na two kids gany. When I got two in yanyo yinga together together No before could in yanyo yin because our event was in Birmingham. Then she's like, No, we're doing a meet and greet in London, ABCD. I'm like, look, we don't have any agreement between me and you with um London. The money we're doing a white party in Birmingham, all of this. Because Rivani was coming, those other people from Tanzania. And, uh, then we wanted to do a meet and greet. Mugamba, you guys are literally collecting an entry fee for this meet and greet in London. Obviously, I'm not showing face for free. You have to give me money. So she runs and then yeah, she had already collected money for that London meet and greet. Nata Ngamba. Yari bagena Musa Sula, the club owner. The club owner was gonna pay me. It was gonna pay her, sorry. Kati Nengana Nemga Sigenda Kola Sigenda Kola London. Eventually she's like, No, okay, this is the offer to Gena Kua Sinti. So we did London. That was the first event they talk about when we got to London. We did an appearance at VBO. In the morning, we supposed to be heading out to Birmingham right listen to me carefully vbo they gave her money she didn't pay me friday saturday to you know get birmingham for the white party event we in the morning i'm like okay can i have my payment because i really want to run around and buy a b c d i'm like ah ah we're just shopping uh, events is ready i didn't care I was using my money. I was I was shopping for my kids. We went to JD um, sneakers. We went to Foot Locker and all that. I need to shop. Katibuna itu to kogi ende Birmingham mugani sende zange tozo gera kote na zange ziriwa. Hanjazi kuwa zari to hanjazi kuwa. We're supposed to go to Birmingham at ordering it abu Uber. All right, abu tono umato kwa abu tono. She orders those them tiny Ubers. I gotta to ende Birmingham. The guy who hosted us at VBO lunch, he's called Victor. He's like, he's like, nah. I know we have a motor car in the city. I know we have a motor car here. I know we have a motor car here. I know we have a motor car here. You know? The guy is like, no. I don't have a motor car here. I don't have a Tesla. I don't have a Range Rover. I don't have a Tesla. I don't have a Range Rover. Aina GLE. GLE ya liye tutambu zabuli wa momo tuka ya tuwe msaji ya tuwe motuka ya the whole entire time ya tuwe day UK. Nga gamba gena kutu wachi. Agena kutuwe moto kaze. Zichitwale Birmingham. It's about three hours drive ndoza. Awo na wano mchala muza sente za etanye ga. Kati yu na baide nga tetu na tuka ya tuwe wakati uke landa ni ya tu bookinga kuka hotel kari ya uka service travel travel lodge kari ya wakasa sura pounda na is out of town area ringa farm bisi kwa tetu ya wana matala bangi ya tuka nabuza landa nino jibande se mwye landa njempu lila brunaku eh kati nze mkututu saa wongo laba wabwedu walo trucks ne buses mangano kufuru mamu motu kangamba you know what nze no jemu tresa sima nyini this is not the London let me tell you something breto wange na nge London we used to sleep at Tiso Mabelach. You need to Google that hotel. Tiso Hotel Elim Mabelach. Literally, when you come out of our hotel, you take a short ride and go you're on Oxford Street. A week would cost us about two thousand eight hundred pounds, and because we would take two rooms with the kids, that would be almost five, almost six k pounds a week. Choka go and take a hotel. Your pound there now. That's when I actually started seeing red flags. So guy or VBO or London Gagamba no Zari can't sleep here. When I land in a motor and got twala is a hotel Radisson Blue is next to next to O2. Bambi guy got twala and got booking in there and at Kola event. Yali very successful. It was beautiful. Friday was so beautiful at VBO lounge. And I really, really want to appreciate uh, Victor even to be at Kola. Katsutu Kat Birmingham. Tulimukwa to Kate Birmingham. Um Chala Tana booking a hotel.
e oja ita haya timbu ya baby chitana jibu kinga again victor steps in victor by the way again anaga mazari ndawe vinte vita tele de one because the way na is explaining to me things i'm gonna drive with you to birmingham when two kaya ngablish mchiri fine i'll come back he owns the club remember that's where we were on saturday at vbo tuariwa tuari kuk club yoyo guy guy ngaleka o club yet saturday he comes with us nga tu ino gina kings of clubs Getting at Kings of Clubs, I obviously do a video to again a Kubantu restaurant owner where your club in Dala. I never eat a Bantu restaurant. Got to eat out. I do a drop. It's Zari, the boss lady. We're going to be here. Blah, blah. Turn up and all that. Got to get a hotel. Turn up and call in Vidi Zange. Sophia. Thank you so much for laying my hair, Sophia. You are such a darling. You are such a beautiful soul. She gave me a, a hair piece. A wig. Na jean stalling. Anok jean stalling. So in the process to call Envy to call Envy, muga mane sene za ziriwa sa biri tazo gera ko sa wanya tano my hair is almost done. Namba bang ya diwa se ngano la umkazo no sita gera biari ko sene za nza jo nza Friday te ya zimpadi choka ya gara to call event te yoku bidi de ro Saturday sene za nzi mubuza agenda left and right left and right. Kati muna ange baba I'm I'm no I can't yeah it's yours. Go brush your teeth and wash your face. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. I know some people don't understand, but this live is basically for Ugandans. You you get Ugandan friends to translate for you. So, it, and at this time, it's Sophia. It's a friend of mine, Doreen. It's um, my hubby, my brother-in-law, Regan, Chinese brother. We're in the room. Zitu says, "Samu samu." I'm calling her. This is 1 a.m. I'm calling her. I'm like, dude, I need my money for the previous day because if you can't afford to give me money for the previous day and we do this event today, Saturday, with no payment. Guys, I want you to understand where I'm coming from. I appear for the first event, no payment. I'm, she's running around, no payment. Uh, now I'm expected to do a second club and this person is now being straight with me red flags from the hotel we were booked in from everything from wanting to put us in ubers i'm like is she really going to pay me please understand where i'm coming from i know you've heard her side of the story i know you've seen her running her mouth she's saying all of this she's only saying that because she feels bitter and she feels like you know she feels a certain type of way because i didn't do the event but i don't think number one i didn't carry myself from africa all those hours with stopovers I had a KQ flight. The layovers with KQ. That's another bullshit airline story for another day. The layover. I think I stayed in, in, in um, Kenya for about seven hours before I could connect again. Hence me saying it almost took me 24 hours to get to London. So I'm like, I came here for an event. We agreed on a certain amount of money that you're supposed to give me. It's not even my red card, okay? And I'm not going to lie to you, my red card, ask the people who have hosted me before, it's 10 US for a club appearance. 10 US dollars straight. This is very, very personal information that I'm telling you, but nothing is personal anymore about me because my passport is out there. Everything is out there. For me, my red card to do anything is 10 US. And that is an entry level. Entry level because it depends on what events we're doing. It could go up to 15 or 20K. US dollars. I don't want to lie. You know, I'm always, I'm a very, very, very honest, straight, straight person. So, fast forward, it's 1 a.m. in the night. She, there's no payment. She's running around. I call her. She says, I'm coming. This lady turns up at 2.30 a.m. The club closes at 4. 2.30 to 3. She comes like, oh, um, I'm going to give you your payment. Uh, VBO didn't pay me. And there's a lot of Wahala stories. Victor, the owner of VBO, good enough, had come with us. He's the owner of the, the cars that took us to Birmingham. I call Victor. I'm like, can I have a word with you? He's like, where are you? I'm in my room, blah, blah, blah. Victor comes up. Victor shows me a screenshot. She's like, she's lying. I paid her. Here's a screenshot. He did a, um, a transfer for a bank transfer for her. And at this point, she's telling me she doesn't have money. The, the club owners, there is a difference between the club owners and the promoter. The promoter is the person that comes to the club to say, I've got Zari. This is how much I want. And 
whatever agreement okay we'll give you the entrance and then we will sell the drinks everybody makes money everybody goes home happy so now vbo has paid you money that you're supposed to give me on top of that vbo gave her the entrance where she made 4k 4k from the entrance he paid you my money now you're saying no there's no payment victor muswaza victor shows the screenshot and at this point she's so angry because why would victor show me the payment she's like okay what the fuck i've got your account in i've got your money in my account i've got your money in my account Mpa account you could transfer in recently with such an attitude she's screaming on top of her voice i'm like you know what now nah, you're really insulting me here I don't think I've done anything wrong. I'm literally just saying, can I have my payment for yesterday? And then the payment for today, we'll talk about it tomorrow. She starts insulting me, screaming. She walks out of the room. This is 2, 3, mind you. 3 a.m. <clears throat> Turns up around 3.30, she brings me a certain amount of money. Not the full payment of yesterday, a, a portion. I'm like, bitch, you must be playing. You must be kidding. Because Victor has showed me she, he paid you my money. Now you're telling me, or oh, and if even if I gave her my South African account, the money wouldn't have reflected immediately. Okay, red flags. It's portion of the. It's part of the payment. I'm like, I'm not going out. We start arguing. It's already quarter to four. By the time she went downstairs to run around to collect this money, I don't know from who. It's quarter to four. The club is closing at four. And I'm not stupid just to leave everything of mine just to go to UK to do appearances for free with no payment. I could have stayed here. I could have just stayed here and enjoyed my beautiful home, my children. I could have sat in my office and made calls for something else. Now you're playing me. Shitty ass hotel. You want me to sit in fucking small Uber cars? Bitch, I drive a whole brothers. In Africa. In Maybach. V class in Africa. Now you want me to sit in an Uber where I'm supposed to be celebrated as a celebrity. Bitch, you couldn't afford me. You couldn't afford me. And I should have seen that the minute you said Jiangu to Kore or Nimukwano and Jaku are sent. I should have seen that. That was the red flag. I didn't say it. But I carry my whole ass. Now you want to run around. Ozari is a bad person. Ozari, did, I didn't get paid. Honestly speaking, it was non-payment. There is nothing else. I hear you. You did visas for my husband. You paid my husband's ticket. Not out of your pocket. From what you owed me. Part of that payment. Tiny of that payment. I was like, do one, two, three. That wasn't your money. That was what was supposed to pay, be paid to me. And you're so stupid that you're running around telling people visas cost seven thousand pounds not everyone is stupid my dear visas cost 350 and the work permit is 400 in total is 750 where is the seven thousand pounds coming from back to the event it's quarter to four she comes in with a portion of money i refuse i'm thinking okay once i do this event tomorrow it's going to be stories the events would have been done and all that the club owner had actually given her money the one that the portion that she brought to me the club owner had given her the first club owner paid in full we're still arguing back and forth no i get up to dress up i'm like then i'm like could you please count that money let me see if it's that's when i realized wait this money is not what it's supposed to be I took my clothes off. I was dressed. I did my makeup in that period of 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes before the club closes. I dressed up my makeup, everything, counting the money. I took my clothes off. I'm like, nah, you're playing me. The story next day was like, I work for free. I'm cheap. If, you, if I didn't allow my, if I didn't, if I allowed myself to go to the club without payment, it was going to come off like, I'm cheap just because I'm in London. No, I'm not those girls that want to be in London for the sake of being in London. I've been to London so many times, bitch, Google it. My kids were playing for Manchester Soccer Academy every other year I was in London. The fees to play in that academy for one week was £6,000. 
it was two boys playing that's twelve thousand pounds the hotels we were sleeping in that's almost 6k that alone before we talk of the shopping we used to do ask the people that time jaffa the promoter the minute we got there my then husband would take out his credit card we rented the best of the cars for family like the latest range rover to move us around for a week but she would be spending almost 30k to 40k pounds now you making me run around making it look like you did me a favor to be in London? I can be in London any time of the day and I'll tell you why. I have a very beautiful bank statement. I could pay the best hotel and the only thing I need to say, I am going for a holiday. Present my booking for the ticket, the hotel I'm staying in, and my bank statement. <clears throat> That's it. I'll be in London. I don't need you to put me in London to make me feel like I did you a favor to be here. You no, know, bitch. The place is old. I've been to London so many times. I went back just recently. The place is old. I haven't seen anything. Friend, I would rather do Dubai 20,000 times than London. I would You haven't been, guys, you haven't been to Dubai. London is a mood. You're 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 a if this life of mine was fake, bitch, everybody would have it. My life is money. My life is luxury. When you look at my life, it speaks for itself in Africa, friend. I didn't travel. I didn't travel anywhere to be who I am. Tindimo Africa. Sidimo Europe. What way you you? So that, that's what happened. And this whole thing now lasted until 4.20 in the morning. The club owner, Muni Bubi, about booking the table, bagala, bagala refund. Tables were booked at 500 pounds, 600 pounds. Entry, you had 50 or 55 pounds. Back what I sent, rush them 1% design. I want to go to Hotel Gundi party a flopping. I want to tell you, singa mwana wako kugundi ya Louis ono mnami biyadi young famous in Africa, the new cast member. The place was full. I want to wako langa self is ne Louis singa reposting on his Instagram. The place was full, beautifully decorated. Bambi Sophia yangu le video yaka ni wansi na mpeleza videos. Nanga mbazari the place is packed. Kale just come five minutes. Your fans are going to be disappointed. Zari jangu mna Uganda Bambi, but she grew up there. Again I'm talking. That um, video because she took my number. We obviously we're communicating for her. Nandaga videos, what you did, they decorated it with beautiful balloons. Ngabantu bamba the white, mwali mwabantu the UK white party. Teba badimba, mubuza and teba yuka badio party. Yadi na abantu nge juza. E changa no full mayo sasa sura event here. So okay, London, to say Birmingham, they still no payment. Honestly, guys, put yourself in my shoes. What would you do? Era is vent is and we didn't attack Sasura Tia Sola Kunsa Surya Soka Mom Sajawa Club ya soka ya more sent. A yoke with yan in pade. Kati in the process no zo kunyiga, muma nyem kwane jiri fake. A kute screenshot si as the tambuza. A kute screenshots as the tambuza, what we spoke about, nabichi no. Professionally, professionally, to in a college. Because I told her, I'm going to message you. Yeah, you're going to pay for this. I know. You need to. Oh, sorry. I keep getting incoming calls. You need to own up to your mistakes. You need to own up. And the only time you can grow is when you own up. Because you're going to pay Necho ina sente zenjakala oja kumpa boe zitine ne sura ni nzija. Yanga mba wona jene wala wanti ndese zari. Kupaka tena kuzino you are an international star uliku Netflix. Profile yange genda kula. CV yange genda kula. Wena ya galo mwimbi omulala omu wati wati. Ok nze sidi mwimbi but I was doing just a party. Nanga wena ya gala omu tomulala oku jaku event. You know njaku wana kana kanti ku CV ya ya leta ne zari. So you know there would be that. Nanga what the heck. What do I have to lose anyway. And we went. 
There is no professionalism. You taking my passport and my husband's passport, you putting it on social media legally. I could put you in shit with just the passports. I could put you in a lot of shit legally. Te chikiri ziwa. Ne no mtu gwengendo kusuinga taina na chiku. Ze che chisacha ange muna muna sonyo e chisacha ange che chanko ze sevio. Kugama ntu mwala nega ili debambi jangu njaku wa zino ze nina. Jangu nyambo nteleleze kwa CV ya nga promoter wa ntu wa mfune mwo uwe sigwa. Kati wabu ono nye. Nobody would want to work with you because they will be like no. Nobody would want to work with you. Because of everything that you actually did, no one can trust you. You wanted to build a profile as a promoter. You literally com finished yourself. Nobody is going to ever, ever work with you. That when you have disagreements with people, when actually it's your fault, now you're releasing things about them, you're releasing their... Actually, a, a, a passport is not a private thing. A, a passport is a government document. It has to be classified. It has to be protected. It's a government. But you don't. And now because you want to play victim, now because you want to tarnish my brand, make me Zari, the bad person, you're running around releasing voice notes. Yes, you're talking about the first time when I was supposed to come and do um, the event where you're saying no, she couldn't come because she did leg surgery. Yes, honey. Leg surgery is not beans. It's not peanuts. Surgery is money. Today I had to send one blogger um, a, a, a voice note where she's saying she wants to come to South Africa, she wants to do her boobs, she wants to do her butt, she wants to reduce her, her tummy. I sent it, you'll probably see it circulating. If you are out here now talking about the surgeries I did, but you asked me to find you a doctor in South Africa to do the same thing, that was standards, bitch. Own up your mistakes. You didn't pay me. I refused to come out of the hotel. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I hear people saying they called for, for London. I know a lot of people said she called them to get transport. And if, I'm like, you could have told me. I told her, I know people in London. I've got friends. You could have told me you don't have cars. I could have made calls. Could have been sorted. Easy, cap easy. But you're putting us in an Uber. Now you're running around saying, oh, she couldn't come. Because let me tell you something. There's no person who isn't comfortable about a certain part of their body and they have money in this 20th century and they're not going to fix it why are you making it look like i'm the first one kim did it Nicki minaj did it cardi did it beyonce apparently now has done a bbl her body is very evident come on it's money you wanted to come to south africa to do the same procedures that i've done you wanted to remove your tummy I got rid of my tummy. I could afford it. I wanted it to look good. There is nothing wrong with it. Guys, it's the 21st century. People are doing a lot of things. People are doing procedures. It's a lifestyle. We are no longer scared where people are saying, oh, so-and-so did a surgery. Nah, friend, it's a lifestyle. People are doing it. It's, it's any, honestly speaking, women right here on the live, everybody who can afford to do that, trust me, they will. So don't use my body enhancement as a weapon that, oh, she did surgery. Bitch, I did. And I fucking look good. I fucking look gorgeous. Wish you know. I look gorgeous. I don't want to lie. Yes, I went to fix my legs because I was feeling a little uncomfortable. Because now my body is so tiny on top. And then my legs literally looked bigger than my body. And I had to go fix that and make my body. I'm about to post my new pictures, you guys. You don't know. I look so gorgeous, friend. I don't want to lie. So you can't use that against me. Oh, she did surgery. Everybody's doing it. Whoever can afford is doing it. And bitch, you can't afford it. If you could, you could have done it. It doesn't end there. It's the passports. It's the surgery voice notes. And then it's the one with my husband. Let's talk about the one with my husband. Where I'm saying, oh, bang, fala, bichi, bichi. You know, if you listen to that voice note, but she decided to use that voice note at a wrong time, obviously, where it was going to look bad. Zari, I'll get on about Now, at that time, let me remind you the time I sent the voice note about my husband because we were chatting, like we were vibing. So it wasn't in bad faith that I'm talking about my husband. 
And I'm gonna tell you this, it doesn't matter how smart you are, it doesn't matter how many countries you've been to, immigration is just immigration. Nagen GTA. Nagen GTA immigration because you could get to an airport, and you just stutter. You stutter, you just stuttering. Go back where you're coming from. It's like you don't know your story. Yes, we hear you. You have a visa, but go back where you're coming from because your stories are not adding up. Bakuzayo. Anybody who's traveled knows you don't fucking play with immigration. Doesn't matter who you are. One slight stuttering. Bakuzayo. I was in Yuna the other time. There's some Ugandans musicians. They had come to sing. Ababuza. What are you here? We were literally just sitting there. Nebabuzayo. Just now, there's a group of people that came to Uganda. There was a, an event happening. There was a group. Out of that group, immigration serious. Shaki was just playing about it. baby immigration Katine Perez Zori message name Amuna Bang Omuraba Fala Neba den Jagal Omugambe Kumanzi. Si fala and tin kuvuman to li fala mobi. But it's more like saying Chinimori wana gama she kazi chizari chilaru. Um kazi mularu, we call about the water jamla mulalu tashtag is anti or mularu or bongo wa vako. Ne chilinga anti shit. I just to yum kazi mularunga. I choke the mungeri etari ya kuvuma. Ne katiori wa sadira o chief room is by the time they're going to put it out. Ne chijiram situation yum bi ori na ch take o gundi ya vuma zari in timalaru. Ne ngori we a choke la ruari ngo ruari. You've all seen how I adore my husband. You've seen how I respect him. You've seen how I treat him like a king he is. You've seen what haven't you seen? What haven't you seen? I put my whole celebrity status on the side and I'm like, fuck that shit. This is my husband. This is my marriage. This is, I treat you like a king. Doesn't matter what people say about you. To me, he's my king. He's my king. He's my guy. A person has to take your voice note that I was vibing with her and you put it out to say oh Zari I'm gonna be a bow a fella but in what contest na choke that in what contest era bang a yambo ziza bino wabi wele zari mga mba ye na bi mwele za kwa na linku kama anti immigration in zibu nga tonta gira nembi mwele zari mga kubi desimu akunyo ili ne na biyo gira in a sense of immigration it's never wama mugezi nyo my friend however smart you are immigration one question you back on the next flight you back on the next flight. So I think that one, Ebya Sajari, Ebya Achi, whatever she said, it's. But I think the one that's really now in the Ugandan community, Kugama, the Nagambi Bang, and Tifala. Now, Chogera Murua, Intimna Bang, a father, a jam town, a queer put Bambuzo, because she made a woe, Simu Winti Muvuma. I told you. I told you. I told you. I I I Mwafalo mwe mwagalida. Mwafalo we mwe nkolachi. Mwe mwagalida. Kata on nakola chivichi. Nakola chivichi. Nange kenyini nkugame nefu lo wakavi wanu. Nemo ntuka ku immigration. Oroza mbaba jie kwa mazi. I don't wanna lie. Immigration gives me goosebumps. Goose Wazi itachi goose. <laughs> I don't answer so kufuka black. Mama John has on you, huh? So it started giving me goosebumps. It gives me goosebumps. So I was just looking out for my husband, telling a friend, well, a person that I thought is a friend.
gwe no lemerero okumpa sente za nze waino okunsasula no tani ko kulimba abantu abiza za kasambu golo za buli omu musiru olo za buli omu musiru okuloza anti biza bazikoyira kasambu aka pound ngo akoyira shakibu visa ya kasambu prove it prove it I didn't have to come here, but the reason why I came here, because when a person keeps feeding people lies and you don't give your side of the story, people believe in the lies that they've been fed them. I don't know if you hear what I'm saying. I didn't have to come here. But if people keep feeding people lies and you don't come out to justify your side of the story, not to justify, but to give your side of the story, then people will believe what they heard. So I literally had to come here to say, guys, I didn't go to the white party in London, which was full. Didn't flop. It was full. I didn't go because I wasn't paid for the first appearance I did in London and the second appearance in Birmingham. I had my right to say I'm not turning up because I didn't get paid on what we agreed on. It was just as simple as that. So for a person to run around releasing screenshots, releasing whatever conversations we had, releasing passport copies, bro, bitch, I'm going to stay Zari. There's one thing about me. I'm so confident about myself. People see it as arrogance. But sometimes you need to know who you are. And I know who I am. I am Zari, the boss lady. And that's not going to change. With everything that happened, you're running around, running your mouth, doing a whole lot of lives, trying to explain to whoever wants. No, bitch, I'm going to stay me. You can't take that away from me. You can't take that away from me. That even all the bullshit that you've been feeding people, it hasn't changed me. But honestly, what has reduced? That you tarnishing my brand? No. Nah. Nah. And it's always females. It's always females that are coming. And she makes it look like this is the first event I've done. Honey, I've done events. Successful events. Look at all the events. You make it look like this was my first event. Really? I'm better than that. I'm bigger than that. You guys have literally, literally seen me growing from nothing to who I am today. So when a person comes around to say, Zari, I am going to be your downfall, bitch. No, a cockroach can never sit with an elephant to discuss same issues. To say you're going you're gonna to bring me down. You could have just paid me. I could have done the event. Everybody was going to be happy. You failed to honor the obligation, the agreement. Oh, I'm going to deport you. I'm going to report you to the immigration. How am I immigration? Immigration is not your home care office where you feel like, where you feel like, or oh, you decide who's going on which shift, who's you, who, who you're going to bench for this week. Immigration is not your home care office, darling. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't know what you were doing. evidence. I didn't know what you were doing. I didn't go. Era singa wa ino juzi na tu inane contract ne sende nga wazimpa. Bani sose no kubuzo wa sentezo wa sasuri la no msolo. Mwanyo ina magezi matono, tote gira. Msolo kwe yu kete gusaga. Nti, nti 7,000 pounds was take up test mu visa. Ngo gera, ngo yo gera no senso yoku immigration. Muga nangi. Fenate tuliba silo. Ate ya doroza nti you talk too much. Not everyone is stupid. Aba ntuwa ina magezi. Wabeda yonga wa sirisi. Ngabali mkamo olibaraba. 7,000 pounds for a visa, bitch, you, you can't even afford. Visa, you can't afford to take him. Because I'm... That said, that said, our way to, to say. So, she's been running around saying whatever she said. And I am saying what I have to say. It was non-payment for the first event and the second event. And she wasn't doing anyone favors to say, oh, I was getting a visa for your man. You had my money, part of my payment. You're going to use part of that. Okay. All right. So that is what it is. It is what it is. 
bawa ngechecho na choge na mkontext yeyo atecho techige na kumana ubufumbo wa ngeitizari ya gambi bawa ifada chilingo gambo linto ya mkazi mularu nga inenge di jachide semu mwyoro wali gwenota niko gambo noda yo nolope na bantu gundi ya gambo yo mularu bio na wabi koze password wa fulumiza screenshots wa fulumiza sajare na jiko lanze sije gana angako toso wa kubwe la sende nusu gana angu labi kabubi Buli omu abi agala. They just can't afford. Gweno olo zanti ya yowepo nojitu wala. Aba antu elaba bilaba. Gweno zo mbili gweni na antu seba kula aba antu na kukola. Heze sako la mbili chiri yao. Zeni nasara busa zirubutu. Nasara alubutu mbele na waka watu. Teri atacha agala. Nia agala kwa ya nchi kutubutu unga chiki kango mazoku za alaba. Na who wants that? Senta ze zigana. Everybody wants that. You know? All right, guys, I have an event today. You know, fast forward, we move regardless. I've got an event today. It was good talking to you. Well, I was talking to myself, but you were listening. I love that part. Thank you so much. I appreciate and to the people who literally paid money, apologies that I didn't come because I hear you guys paid a lot of money. You know, tables, 500, 600 pounds, entry fee, 50, 55 pounds. Apologies. It wasn't on my side and it wasn't on the club owner. Can I also clarify something about the club owners? It wasn't the club owner, kings of the cl kings of clubs. It was the promoter. Yes, and we are Monsao. She didn't feel like she needs to pay anyone. So kings of club is good vbo is good i want to appreciate vbo um owner victor he took care of us literally the entire stay in london victor to that really day i just want to give special thanks to you you have a golden heart i talk my own because of and victor to love it and she's like zari because I'm always like this. I literally act like a child, like a baby around my husband. I don't want to leave him. I don't. Never get him to it. Put it under your time. Just get him to it. Him far more missing. I'm by here. Come out. Ding up. Just put it under. Kunga. Truly, we want to know. Baby, can you come back to room? Far. I'm banjaga the world. My time. You remember South Africa. I feel like dying. A similar. I just need to speak to him on the phone. It's like no. I want to be in your arms. I want to be next to you. You know. How are you telling people Zari wanted to sleep with the club owner? What are your defense mechanism na yeri weak? Your defense mechanism is weak. Zori wanted to sleep with the club owner. My husband was with me the whole fucking time. And because that didn't work, she comes with the story, I was drunk. And because people didn't buy that, she went back to say Zari was high on drugs. Me, Zari. I can't even stand weed. I can't stand people who smoke. But the highest, I'm doing drugs. Me. You could do better. I know you're trying to get back at me. You're trying to console yourself. You're trying to fill the gap because you have so much bitterness right now. I understand. There's so much bitterness that you need to release this bile like you, for you to feel better. I hear you. But it's all lies. It's all lies. You you could have done better. Next time, ask me how to lie. Njakubu dila weba limba. Ngoteka ugu statement yunom tunache. Na kwa nsima nyiku I don't know. I'm even saying yes that again. I don't know how to lie. I'm always honest. One thing about me, you guys have come to know me as an honest person. Mze siri imba. Nchoke langa wechiri, olina anyiga. Olina anyiga. But I say... I say it the way it is. So that's that's what transpired. Let me start getting ready for my event. And hopefully, next time, we'll organize something better, hopefully. Appearance fees and zita and kila gumo ogwa Going forward, depending on what event. Ah, talent to Jay, but I remember the event is in Kola Kola and Diwa were buzzing poverty. Uh, to my sister, I know you're bitter, but I really hope you heal. I hope you heal from what it is that is 
that go to you so bad. I know you feel like there's a, there's this tab wound in your heart. You, I know you feel like I want to get back at Zari. I want to do this, but not me, darling. Not me. The video called like releasing a voice note, seek releasing a passport. I can't. I can't go down because you releasing passports or voice notes. Trust me. In between now. I've got two gigs coming up and I'm going to be posting them. Two gigs. In between all this saga, there's just more money coming in. So when you go live to say, I'm going to be Zari's downfall. Go on, wait on. Where are you going? Go to Lenzi. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, 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 Zaso wolo kera kumachane nko ule chintu vile muna gamba kato yom kasi tumu vudeko. Zaso wolo kwe sura. Ibe teba kulima nganti ululia dedi na gamba nja kuko wala vino evidio. Could have paid my money. You could have paid me. We were gonna be good. Y'all enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of the day. Um, I really don't have much to say because I already said a lot. And hopefully, hopefully, she really finds it in her heart to heal because the bile she has, I wouldn't want to be her right now.